Hello, Kaz Jim here, and I am standing in a little tiny rock hovel. But what's important about this is it's not where I was. That's right. So I went ahead. Uh, if you saw the lot, man, I'm tired of all these updates. If you saw the last episode, we started out up here because, like, we spawned up here, explored some, da da da. They lie off screen. Then I had this little starter home right here, which was enough to kind of get me started. You know, I became one of the villagers. Really weird village. Nothing was aligned or any of that. And I ended up discovering this really nice big meadows area. It's got, you know, a couple ravines in it. I've got some crag mountains nearby, which are always really great for mining. And I've actually got pretty good access to the sea here. I need to excavate a couple chunks of water in order to get that access but that'll be fun for boats later on and i've gone ahead and enclosed this entire village in a stone wall except this little entryway but i don't think it'll be too much of a problem anyway so uh this is where i'm going to have my base i have you know these storage units that have kind of all my basics and necessities in them but yeah, we're going to go ahead and start figuring out where I'm going to put things and, you know, it'll be fun. I'm looking forward to it. So, uh, first thing I want to do is I want to have a place for my smeltery. And I kind of want to have the space integrate a bit with the village. So, I'm looking at the village as a whole. Hello, Mr. Sheep. And you know what? This looks like a good place for a little forge. I don't know why. No rhyme, no reason, but it just looks like a good idea. So let's do it this way. Let's have... Let's go ahead and do a three base. Then let's just pop you guys here for support. There we go. All right, let's place you right here. And then we're going to have you here. Place the faucet there. All right, grab you and you. Tank can go right here. That'll be fine. And then we're going to put the smeltery controller right... Oh, that's the wrong place. Right here. And then we're just going to enclose this guy. Uh, yeah, I can do this thing. Ah, uh, I'm too short of building my smeltery this way. That's not bad. I can deal with that. I should actually have... I swear I should have a little bit more grout lying around. If I don't, then I'll just cook some up. It's not a big deal. Uh, no. 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 Okay. Well, I thought I did, but clearly I was wrong. So let's go ahead and grab furnaces. Check. Toss these beetroots back in because I don't need those. What I am going to grab is stuff that I need for this. Let's grab some coal. It's going to be nighttime soon. Uh, I've got my bed in this little house right next to what I'm building here. I'm not too worried about it. Uh, let's go ahead and grab sand gravel, and clay. Let's just grab all those. All right, that's enough to work with for now. Now just as a temporary thing, we'll put this here and get you started. Technically, only need four, but it's always good to have some spares, you know? Ah, and now it is daytime once more. I wake up, hopefully not to find my village invaded. Oh, there's a thing in my village. I can see it on the map. Maybe it's just underground. Who knows? By the way, I'm going to check it out. I don't like the looks of it. So you'll see I haven't completely lit up the area yet, but it's on my to-do list. For the most part, 
things tend to stay out, though, because they can't really just jump any of these walls. Make sure it's too high to jump any bit. So anything that does spawn, spawns from within the village, which, again, if I go to bed on time, isn't a big deal. Once I get some more torches and some more light sources, I can just kind of subvert that problem entirely. Is my... Hang on. My game audio is not coming through. There we go. Now it should be coming through. There we go. That was weird. I just had to, like, turn it off and back on again. Go figure, right? All right. So now we've got the sear bricks. Let's do this. Sweet. Gonna do something with that well. All right. Let's place you here. And then we can kind of just start putting something else right there. Why not? Awesome, so that's back. So now, that's good to go. Now I'm going to, I'm going to try to light up as much of this village as I can because I feel like that's probably a thing I should do. So now let's see which key it is on this one. It's not a four, six, no, F8, nine, 10, seven, six, seven, okay. It's a mystery every time. Which which hotkey will it be? Okay, let's do it this way. And one more right here. Just like that. Nice. Now I feel nice and safe in here, except that gap in the wall. But again, I'm fixing that. And that sheep has been up there since I spawned this area walking past it. And I'm not sure why he spawned up there or how. Like, I seriously appeared and he's just like up there. It's a very magic sheep. I want to see how long he can stay up there at this point. I mean, heck, might as well. Olympic sheep. All right. I feel safe. So that's actually uh, going to be it today. So I've kind of showcased the uh, new area, the new base, or the new base area rather. And I've gone ahead and made the whole thing super ultra duper safe. Uh, and yeah, I feel pretty good about it. Oh, open spot in there. See, I'm going to be doing this for really a slight bit longer. But, in general, this has been great. I'm going to keep doing this off camera, and I'll catch you guys later. Thanks so much for watching. See ya! Alright, so... Uh, I lit up my village, obviously. I went on quite the journey. Uh, let me just show you where I went. So, I went over here, and I circled down around here. Uh, found this village over here. Uh, this was all in search of a desert, by the way, or cactus. Because I needed it for something, but I ended up having to go with a more complicated recipe that was actually more simple. So, you know, I come through here, and all the while I was, you know, taking a minute on the mountains just to kind of scope out max render distance and see if there's a desert anywhere amongst this stuff. And just no such luck on any of this. I mean, just nothing, and that's just, that that did render properly, just there's something weird with the mapping that's happening. It, the map isn't rendering all the snow that I found, but either way. You know, I came down here and couldn't find anything here. Went down this island and that didn't have anything, and then about, once I got to about the end point here, I hopped on a boat and explored this, found this village, you know, went up here, found this interesting location not sure what to make of it but i liked it and then over here you know you've got a bunch of stuff right here just a little volcano which is what this is but i just i don't know what to make of the size and then you know i came over here i tried to go up the river got blocked went up the river again got blocked again found this village got back in the water Almost made it back to where my base is, but then I didn't, or actually where my original base was, and I didn't. 
I went all the way up, and I ended up going even further north than I've ever been, as well as further south. It's it's just nuts. I ended up up here, and then at that point, I just gave up on finding a desert and or cactus because I couldn't even find a witch's hut that would have a cactus in it. It's just it wasn't happening. So, long story short, I came back. I used my shears to chop up some grass. And the grass got me what I needed. I was going for the... Let's see here. Let me find it here. In Ender I.O. I was going for... The industrial powder casing, which needed the organic green dye. Which needed clippings and trimmings. Which is a sag mill recipe. And the only guaranteed one is from Cactus. So that was kind of a bummer. I couldn't find that, but I ended up just finding, you know, things like the grass and all that. But either way, so I finally got the trimmings, finally got everything crafted, and now it's time to get the upgraded alloy smelter. Now we're talking. Now we are talking. And I'm willing to bet that if I just go ahead and grab hole here. If I toss you in. How's it been missing? What the? I have to make a capacitor now? Ah! Angry! They have really messed with Ender I.O. Like, I'm not sure even how I feel about it. I mean, Getting the grains of infinity is interesting. I actually struggled. I mean, you've got to basically light bedrock on fire and then let it die. I'm not sure why I struggled with that, but I did. And let's see here. Copper. Let's take you. There we go. Alright, let's get this capacitor. But yeah, so I mean, they've really messed with the Ender I.O., but I kind of like it. Makes it to where there's a bit of a gating mechanism there. You gotta get some higher tier metals and all that. But fortunately, I found some in chests while I was out, well, trudging the world, basically. So that's a thing. All right. Now. Okay. Should be just producing all the power now. And I don't think it'll just like stop like the bad version did. I don't know. I'll have to wait and find out because the problem that I found with these guys, the kind of simple versions, is they like lose their capacity after a while. Like they lose their. It's like the infinite jewels, whatever. They lose their energy over time. And I'm very curious if it's going to happen over here as well. I'm really hoping... Oh! That does seem to fix it. Yep. Because this guy over here, the simple machine, he can't actually store a charge. He basically just has a buffer. Whereas this guy can actually store it. So... That actually has me very relieved. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and upgrade everything else. This is, this is going to be great. We're going to look nice and high tech. All right. So I've done it. I've upgraded my, obviously I did the alloy smelter first. But I also upgraded my sterling generator and sag mill. And as I thought, everything's holding charge. And the best part is it's not just needlessly burning fuel. It's, a, it's intelligent. I like it. And also, while I was uh, downstairs digging up, getting some more stuff, I uh, got myself a second Ender. And it's significantly more powerful than the other one. Like, I'm not really sure what's going on there, but hey, I'll, I'll take it. It's very powerful. It would very much hurt to get attacked by this thing. But... Yeah, I'm going to figure out how to use this exactly. I want to say I can... No. 
There's charging station, isn't there? Farming station. Generator, electric light, powered spawner, soul binder, crafter. Oh, come on. That's reason. Oh, wired charger. Oh, electrical steel. Okay. Yeah, starting to move up into this stuff. Um, out of curiosity, what's wireless look like? Ha! No, not happening. I do like that they finally buffed up this mod. It's not just like, oh, hey, I can just make a thing and be ultra powerful all in one day. I like that a lot. The process for making that dust is still weird, but either way, I enjoyed myself getting through. Also, I got a couple more armor pieces, but yeah, so got another Ender, got my Ender IO setup going over there. And I'm so excited. I like this new version of the mod. And uh, what I'm probably going to do next is continue to buff that up. Continue to expand my little domicile over here. And maybe even get slightest bit into Thomcraft. Because I just can't wait. It's been ages since I've done it. And I can't wait to see what they've done with it. I've tried my best to remain spoiler free on the subject. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. This is Kazjim signing out. See ya!